So shooters and reloaders out there, Fortune Cookie 45LC coming to you from the Hot Lead Zone and tonight's topic is standard deviation. We use that term a lot but exactly what is it and how is this significant for us as shooters and reloaders? Well first of all standard deviation computations only work for uniform populations. It doesn't work if you have apples and oranges. Well, standard deviation is a term from statistics whereby a group or a population can be analyzed using mathematical computation to determine projections for the entire group. So we don't do the computations ourselves because that would remind us of those terrible days back in statistics in college. So what we do is we use a chronograph to take a sampling of the population, say 10 rounds, and then we go ahead and measure the velocity of the loads with a chronograph and the chronograph computes the standard deviation for us. In this case we would take a five round sample and go ahead and chronograph the five rounds and let the chronograph determine for us what the standard deviation is. And the way it does it is that it would determine the mean average for the five rounds and then compute the distance from the mean average that the other five did. The standard deviation would be expressed in feet per second. So, for example, we take this box of 357 Magnum ammo and we do a standard deviation exercise on that. We take either five or ten rounds and we shoot it in our chronograph and the chronograph gives us an average mean velocity and a standard deviation of 19. What that means is that 19 feet per second is the standard deviation. You go one of those low and one of those high you will get a 38 you will get a 38 feet per second zone where 68 percent of the rounds in this box will fall into that when we fire them. Or, in other words, two times out of three when you fire one of these other rounds it's going to be in that 38 feet per second zone. Now if you go two standard deviations, in other words 38 low and 38 feet per second high or 76 feet per second zone, if you fire one of these 95 percent chance that this load you fire will be in that zone. But that's a big zone, 76 feet per second. Well, so how does that help us? Because there's a, still a lot of variation, plus when we shoot at 12 and a half yards or 25 yards, if you have that kind of variation in muzzle velocity, it doesn't make any difference in terms of the accuracy of the groups that we're shooting, even out to 25 yards. Perhaps that 50 will make a little bit of difference, but for our handgun ammo, it doesn't really make that much difference. Now, for example, this factory 125 grain jacketed, semi jacketed hollow points, Remingtons, these have a standard deviation of 41, which is pretty high. We can beat that easily with our reloads. But, this ammo will shoot one inch groups, actually a little smaller than one inch groups from a rest at 12 and a half yards and shoot two inch groups or a little lower, a little less than that at 25 yards. So this is pretty accurate ammo in spite of the 41 uh, feet per second standard deviation. And if you take this CCI Blazer 158 grain hollow point jacketed Blazer ammo from CCI this has a standard deviation of 13 but it shoots groups twice as big as the 125 grainers that I just showed you. Now where it's ultra important though is in our rifle shooting because if we have a standard deviation of 20 that's actually not acceptable because what that means is a 20 foot per second spread at long range can make a big difference in vertical dispersion of our groups out there and we can miss the target because of that. You really want standard deviations of 10 or less like 8 or 9 in order to be able to reach out at distance and hit targets reliably. So for our rifle loading it's very important to load for 
minimum standard deviation. But for our handguns, doesn't make much difference because we're only shooting like 95, 96% of our shooting is 25 yards or less. So even though we try to keep our standard deviations low when we do our bulk handgun loading, if we're in the 20 to 30 range, doesn't make much difference at all in our shooting because 95% of our shooting is at 25 yards or less. And at those ranges, the standard deviation doesn't make much difference at all, within reason, of course. So good shooting to all of you out there. Take care. See you next video. Bye for now.